Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. Today I've got a little project to do. Uh, my water system is gravity fed. Uh, this, my tanks are up on the hill. I had this 330 gallon tank and then I bought a 270 gallon tank and I just leveled off the ground. You can't see on the camera right now, but I leveled off the ground in the same spot. Don't know what I was thinking, think real, but they aren't gonna be the same height. So when I have water up to the top of this one, when I connect the two tanks together and they equalize, water will come running out the top of this because water runs to the same level and the top of this one isn't higher. I should have kept this one up higher in the air so that the tops matched up. So what I'm going to do today is I hope that the ceiling on the cap is good enough but I put I created a cap that I'm going to screw on to the top of the lower tank and it has a riser and the water from the higher tank is going to push down and level out and it's going to come up into this pipe but this pipe and when it sits on the smaller tank will be higher uh, than the water level there and it won't will not overflow and then I can uh, fill up that entire tank on this side if I drop the, this the top of this tank the bigger tank down to the lower tank I'm going to lose about 50 gallons probably a little bit less than that and I want to be able to keep all of it so that uh, there's a, a large supply of water ready to come down and use down on the lower property I pre-built this already down below. Here's the video on how I put this together. In trying to create my venting and leveling cap, I have the cap that goes to the IBC tote. And it's a pretty thick, strong plastic. And the nice thing about this one, it's nice and flat on the top. So if I drill a hole, I can put uh, this, some people call it a bulkhead. Uh, they're calling it a cooler drain. But what this is, is you drill a hole, you stick it in, there's a gasket that seals on the inside. And then there is, uh, garden hose thread on one side and there's a uh, half inch pipe thread or three quarter inch pipe thread on the other side so you can go to connect to regular piping and the garden hose. In my situation we're going to go ahead and thread in some PVC pipe uh, to make it work. They make several different sizes of these and styles. I have another one that I'm using uh, up there that is much wider and plastic. I would prefer a much wider one, but this is what they had at the store. So we're gonna use this one. I'm gonna take the nut off right now and I'm gonna find a drill bit that is just barely larger than the hole in the threads. And so uh, I'm gonna drill the hole, it'll fit in, but yet it'll the gasket will be fitting tight against the plastic. I'm stuck a piece of wood under here just to protect the drill bit and my uh, truck tailgate. Nice clean hole. We'll probably, some of the plastic that's here we'll scrape out with our utility knife so that nothing's sticking on the top so this seals up and we, this side's probably more important because this is the side I'm going to have the gasket on. Get this nice and smooth. Stick it in the hole here. I probably could have gone an eighth inch smaller drill bit, but it's still going to have plenty of room to uh, seal down. But I do have a little bit of movement. I was hoping this would be a lot tighter. Gonna put a little bit of Teflon tape on my threads. Not worried about getting too much on here. Again, this is not gonna be pressurized. There is gonna be some water pressure, but it's not a pressurized system at this point. So this is a pressurized system, but at this point in time, it's not pressurized. I'm creating gravity uh, by being up on the hill. And then uh, this is the very top of this. We're 100 feet in elevation above where the water's coming out. So that should create 43 pounds pressure, uh, 43 pounds for every 100 feet. So this is gonna be rising up a foot in here or less. And so that should be 0.43 pounds uh, per square inch pressure. So that's very little pressure. I don't think I'll be losing a whole lot. I, I was thinking about putting more compound in here. This is a rubber, there is a rubber gasket in there. 
But uh, I was thinking about putting some pipe dope in there and putting it, but right now I'm gonna see if I could just seal this down tight enough because again, there's gonna be very little pressure to hold all the water in. We'll be placing this elbow on top so that nothing's coming in. I, I have another elbow, I left it at the house, but I wanna turn this so it's down and then no rainwater or anything falling is gonna come into this system. It's just going to be there. The other beautiful thing about uh, doing this is uh, when I have a closed tanks up there, and then the, they try to run water down here, it pulls down and it, cre it creates a vacuum in the tank and then it slow we lose pressure because it's coming down. But by doing this and having this opening, this airflow opening, uh, when the water needs to flow out, air can flow in and then that allows for the water to travel freely and keep the pressure that it needs. So I'm just gonna screw this cap on tight, hope that the gasket that's on the inside of it seals really well. We'll find out here in a minute. So I have the valves closed on each tank and was able to fill them up. But you can see the water level is up right near the top here on this one, and it's also the top here. So when I open the valves here in just a second, this should come down here and hopefully not go down too far because there's not a lot of water that's going to fit in here, and but it's going to... Uh, rise up to the that level in the pipe and go. I don't want to open the valves too fast because the weight of this might create a little momentum and then shoot it out. But if there's no momentum, it should not run out the top of the other one. The water level here should match, or actually the water level in this pipe should very quickly, because this is already full, match this and this should not drop down a noticeable amount in theory. You hear a little burping and guzz, uh, whatnot because there was water line, uh, air in the water lines, and that's being taken out. This water level, if you look closely, it's going up ever so slowly because we're creating pressure in this up into this tank. You can see it right on the end of this leaf right now. Let's kind of keep track of that. So the water level is rising up in here. You can hear the burping. It's pushing water up into that. The water level over here is down about an inch, it looks like, from where it was. Uh, some of it probably filled the line going down to the landing, and some of it is pushing up into this, this tank here. The cap that came with the tank seemed to seal up really well. It doesn't look like there's any water coming out. It, there may be, there is a little bit of water right here. There's at least a teaspoon of water. It's been filling for a couple minutes that's leaked out here. So uh, that's not a lot of water loss, but I don't want any water loss. I may, I, I don't have my wrench with me. I'll try to tighten this up a little bit more, but uh, we should still, you can see it's still holding the other tank at definitely higher than the top of this tank. So since the water level is right here on this tank, it should be the exact same thing here in the pipe. Now I can work on running more water into the big tank and filling it to the top, which is, what, another three inches up, and that'll push water another three inches up into this pipe. Well, that was a quick little job. I was hoping that you'd find it interesting and show what we're doing to equalize the tanks. We now have 600 gallons of uh, reservoir for my low flow water system, and uh, so hopefully that'll keep us uh, supplied nice and well. 
and thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon everyone. Be blessed. The days are getting shorter and I do have another job to work so I'm not getting out here as much except on weekends.